Hey people, Zarthmob here, and welcome to episode 6 of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Last time, we entered the Vim Factory where Mario and Luigi, the adult versions, got kidnapped. And so the babies had to save them using hammers that they got by kicking the ass of some hammer bros that were brainwashed into using lead speech. And now we are delving deeper into the Vim Factory. Let's move. Okay. Next room, it's essentially more of what we've been seeing around the Vim Factory, just more hammer puzzles. Essentially, the Vim Factory is the hammer dungeon. Now let's go under here. No, no oh darn it, darn it, was trying to get him from above. From below, I mean. Nine. Let's do this, boom. Yeah, hopefully we can actually get through the Vim Dun Factory in, the, in this episode. Fingers crossed, but I think we can do it. Anyways. Let's go and just defeat these guys. They'll be down in the next round. Baby Luigi coming for the win. Boom. There we go. Five experience points. I could, I'm getting more shells out of it. Very good. Very nice. Let's open up this door. And if you want to know what's really creepy, look in these tanks. You see dead toads. Yeah, as if this place wasn't dark enough, you just... Boom, you go in the Vim Factory, you get pick images of dead toads. Just look at that. And these toads are in agony. And their life energy is just going into the tomb where they're dead. Yeah, just really. People that, yeah, really. Just, this game can get dark when it wants to get dark. Okay. Ah, darn it. Okay, gotta hurry. 12 damage. Okay, yeah, I really need to work Luigi's speed up. Okay. Boom. And there we go. Okay, at least dodge. Ow. No, no, no. Need to hurry. Need to hurry. Okay, six. Boom. Come on. Every time I go up against lack of Pete, I get I go up against the lack of UFOs. Just I always get screwed. Boom! There we go. Luigi heals, and all is right with the world. So yeah, I'm going to need to work on Luigi's speed. I'm going to need to really just try to get that ump. Okay, at least I didn't land. Okay. I'm just going to defeat him with the hammer. There we go. Hey, you ah darn it. This is what happens when I record late at night, I swear. I just lose my all of my reflexes. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this done. Just trying to get this fight done. Ah, no, no. I pressed the wrong button. I swear, I just need to just get my head in the game. You ever just have one of those nights where you, just, you feel like your muscle reflex is just gone? It's just shot. It's just nothing. Because that's what I'm getting right now. But don't worry, we can always heal up. I mean, it's not like I'm great. I'm doing some no damage run. Ah, no! Run! No, 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 no! Okay, that was a mistake on my part. I was actually, I actually pressed the wrong button. Let's go. Okay, this time I'll actually do the right thing. There we go, 16. There, another one defeated. It's trying going for the kill, but I shall not let it. There, six experience points. Okay, and now I'm starting to get really scared of what the boss is gonna be like. There we go, that's how it's done. There, come on. I know you guys can do it. Ah, don't. Okay, jump and boom. There we go. We at least dodged that one. Six damage. Okay, and boom. Okay, this time. I'm just gonna go in for the standard hit. There we go. No more mess ups, no more screw ups. 
I swear, just one of those days, one of those days. Head forth, my babies. Go into the vents. I know, I know, I'm defeating every enemy. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's see how much, yeah, 29 green shells. I think I can sacrifice a few of them just to expedite the process a little bit. Two, one. There we go, 16 damage. Perfect damage. And, come on. Yeah, thankfully these guys pretty much take themselves out if you just counter them properly. And, there we go. Okay, let's move out. Uh, no! Stupid controller. There. That'll bring down the energy field. And now let's head out. We'll activate this. Trigger the pathway. No, no, no. We don't want to move forward. We want to just go in with our other guys. We want to go in with our babies. Go underneath here, grab our third bean. And now activate that. That will activate the barrier, deactivate the barrier. Now let's hit you. There we go. Now we can go in with some more power. And some enemies that I can actually dodge. Luigi. Okay. Jump, jump. Luigi. They, why are they after Luigi? Just they apparently really hate Luigi. Okay, one more move and we'll be all good. I thought they're not bringing out the items. Normally they'd be whipping out their mega, mu their mushrooms or their poison shrooms every other turn. Okay, Mario's got a level up. Good. This time I'm actually gonna increase Mario's speed a little. What? Yeah, I'm actually gonna increase both bro's speed. Yeah, Luigi now has the speed up. Thank you. Five speed for Luigi. Wait, out of curiosity, what did that do to Mario's speed? Okay, good. Mario and Luigi are pretty much on par with speed. Good, that way basically we just get outpaced by everything. Okay, now let's head out. And now we'll go over here. Mario, Luigi, Luigi, Mario, Luigi, Mario. The first example of a four combo for that block where we are actually separated. Now let's head up here. And there we go. We're now in the upper part of the room. Yeah, to believe it or not though, we're actually almost done with this place. We're gonna be opening those doors up pretty soon. There'll be a switch up here, I believe, as we go past the dead toads. And we'll also hit this switch. And to save some time, we'll summon the bros back. Now, we're gonna to wanna to go down the right path if we wanna get out of this place. However, there's stuff down here that we can get, such as our fourth bean. I think that's all of the beans that we can get in this location. Actually, no. Okay, that's the example of a trip. If Mario or Luigi gets hit by an attack from the back, they will get they will enter the battle in a trip state. And if basically the enemies are faster, you can get potentially screwed. Furthermore, you can't actually use bro attacks until they get up on their turn on their next turn. So essentially, this can really mess you up. Okay. We'll take you out first. I'll actually show off what the Mega Mushroom attack does. As you can see, it looks like he takes the mushroom and you can basically hit him for some decent damage. And when you eat the poison shroom, it looks like he's having an aneurysm. Just, it looks like he's just destroyed his mind with the mushroom. 
36. This should level up the babies, or it does not level the babies up. But hey, it gets us a free mushroom drop. That's always nice. Oh, this block. But first off, bean. The good bean. We want all the beans we can get. Basically, these blocks, hit them until you fail. You get coins. Let's do this. Yeah, these coins are pretty good. Just know your button presses and you're all good. Okay, it keeps going, ba it keeps going Luigi. It keeps going Luigi, baby Mario, why? Okay, 30 coins. Actually, 300 coins, considering that they were 10 coins. But hey, very good. 300 free coins from that for a little detour. I'll take it. I'll take it a thousand times over. Anyways, let's head over here, hit the Luigi, get the cannonballers. Very nice, very nice. Hopefully, we can outspeed this thing. Yes, yes, we can. Ah, no! Do I risk it? Do I risk losing Luigi? Yes, I do risk losing Luigi. Ah, no! Luigi's dead! Do I want to risk... Do I want to use the one-up? Yeah, you know what? I'll, yeah, I'll use a one-up. I regret my decision. I regret my decision. I should have used it. There you go. You get to see what a one-up mushroom looks like. Oh, I feel disgusting. Luigi, stop screwing me over. Thank you, Luigi. Do something right. There, there. And there we go. 19 damage. I wanted to make sure Luigi actually got the experience. I wanted Luigi to be on cycle with everyone. Because if a bro is down when a battle ends, they will not get the experience. Like I said, it, my reflexes are pretty much shot for the evening. So that's fun. And the sad part is I got a mushroom drop. So essentially, I was just screwing myself over with that one. Let's take you on, because frankly, I don't want to deal with little Shrewboid. There, 33 damage. There we go. Another lucky? Yeah, another lucky. Boom. There we go. Yeah, frankly, I'll I'll spend a one up. I mean, really, I got a free one up when we were bit in the from the tutorial. So frankly, doesn't not too much to get off my back. Let's just go grab this, get some more bro flowers. No, you do not. I come in with vengeance. Uh, I miss the days of Superstar Saga when I could just jump and inst and insta kill the enemies with a single first strike. That was the stuff. Jump. Jump. And now let's go in and pull out our bro flowers. Might as well. I mean, really, we have plenty of them. Might as well speed up the battle a little. Come on. Ah, darn it! Ah, that was horrible. But hey, at least it did the trick. I swear, this is what happens when I reflect when I try to play games in the late evening. Basically, I I can barely think, I can barely react. So yeah, that's this next boss is gonna be a real blast. Boom! Yeah, there we go. 16 damage. And. We still have no level up. Okay, time for some more stuff. But first off, I want to just check to see what's going on. Okay, 77, 83, 4, and 4. Yep, the babies will be leveling up very soon. Now, let's head inside here. And under the bridge. Okay, go on here. Let's prepare to jump because this platform is going to be moving very slowly. And the platform is still moving. Okay, send it back our way. 
There we are. Good, good, good. Okay, no, 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 no. We want to go across the bridge, see what's going on over here. And, and Baby Mario's down. Baby Mario fell and could not get up. Okay, no. Instead, I'm going to want to do this. Get, get the other one. There we go. And he pretty much just ended himself. Very nice. And that's enough to give Baby Mario a level up. Yeah, you know what? I'll level up stat for both of the baby bros. Okay, basically increase prices, increase sales a little, give us a little oomph. Okay, this is going to be for the babies next. Okay. Let's head over down here. What a mushroom, very nice. Green shell, very good. Now let's head over here. Let's get some coins. Let's go back to the left. Hooray, mushroom. Now let's go back to the other side of the room where we can meet up with the babies. But first off, Activate the bridge for them. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost done. You know what? It's for experience. I'm, I'm not gonna... Wait, it's for experience. I'm not wasting this. There we go. There we go. We got at least one of them down. Let's do this. Fire flower. There we go. Boom. There we are. Good. 11 and burn. First time we ever seen burn in this game, and oddly enough, burn just happens so rarely. I mean it, just I have only seen burn happen a handful of times while playing this game on my numerous playthroughs of it. Wait, was there a bean back there? Nope, no bean. Just wanted to double check. You know what? I'm feeling pretty good. I think we can actually knock out the boss. So. Okay, yeah, might as well just restore everyone up. And Luigi, I'll, I'll give you the extra mushroom. I'm not gonna be that cheap. Let's head in. For the next boss awaits us. Yeah, the shrooms are very happy when they get recharged. Yeah, they, they're trying to knock away the Vim Soda. Meet our first real boss, the Swiggler. This creature, do not mess with it. This thing, I swear, this was my first real Roblox because like I said, when I first played this game my very first time, I never leveled up. I did not do any level ups whatsoever. Anyways, Swiggler, you do not want to be attacking it. Well, you want to attack it, but frankly, when it's in this enraged state, well, I'll show you what happens when we attack it. One, we're not doing much damage to it. But furthermore, it gets angry, and then it slams the ground, sends these shockwaves out. So yeah, be cautious. He'll also spit out these poison puff clouds. Okay, now, they'll pull out a, a poison shroom and a mushroom at times. Don't put a mushroom, basically, when you see the poison shroom with a doctor shroom, 
You want to knock it into the drink. Trust me, do that. If they're holding a mushroom, do not attack to put a mushroom in the drink because the mushroom will heal him. Instead, just attack the swiggler. Because he'll take his turn and then, boom, he gets sick. And when he's sick like that, his defense drops and he can't attack. So basically, use that to your advantage. Oh, by the way, and if he's still in his enraged mode when he can attack, in addition to the poison puff attack, he can actually send a, send some shroom saucers your way. So yeah, be cautious. Instead, we're going to use the cannonballer. Press each bro's button as they land on their foe. We're going to want to use it on the swiggler. A, X, Y, B. A, X, Y, B. 77 damage. Very nice. I'm going to attack the Dr. Shroob with Mario. Because after one turn, he gets enraged. And then, boom. You want to keep locking him into this as much as you can. Okay, Dr. Shroob is going to get angry. Okay, good. Knocked him out. Instead, we're going to want to use our cannonballers. X, Y, B, A. X, Y, B, A. Can okay, we'll use a bro flower this time around. I know I'm not going to probably do that much damage. But frankly, I would rather just do a little bit of damage to it than basically do nothing. Drink from your beverage. Okay. Pull out your skull. Honor Sulky, and we will now go and use another cannonballer on him. Essentially, with this boss, you can lock him into just this stunlock state and just make him your personal punching bag. When I first played this game, I did not know this. Ow, no. Sorry, I was wrong. I was basically... Oh, well, I killed him anyways. He only has about 200 health. So, yeah, go nuts. Yeah, when I first played this, I didn't know that you could use the poison to your advantage. And so when I first did this, it was funny where basically I'm just attacking the Swiggler directly. Yeah, I'll just upgrade health for both of the bros. Just to make sure that we actually have some health good health. Darn it! And Dead Swiggler. You got the second Cobalt Star Shard. You have collected two. And then you get Baby Bowser doing some Naruto stuff where he's doing this Naruto run just going around in circles. He's trying to be Sonic the Hedgehog. And yet the Mario Brothers, they just, they're just falling for it. They're, they're just spinning around. Spin me right round like a round. Baby Bowser swipe both Cobalt Star Shards. <laughs> Losers! Thought you could get away with stealing my treasure from my castle, did you? It's payback time. I'll take my treasure plus whatever you just picked up as compensation. Prince Bowser, let's scram. And the babies are just still spinning. Cruel fate, we finally succeeded in recovering the second shard, and now this happens. Shame cycle initiated. We must return to our own time and rework our strategy. And we get instantly sent back to the present. And we get separated from the babies. We get separated right from the babies, but before but before we go to EGAD, let's just go up here and collect some beans. Let's raise that collection up to a healthy level, shall we? Okay, let's head out, shall we? 
Okay, anything over here? I could have sworn that there was something. And nothing there. We could go around exploring the castle in the next episode. But before that, though, let's head off to the shop. Because I believe that we got some goodies. Now that I think about it, we didn't take a single hit of damage during that boss fight, funnily enough. Okay, I know, I know, iPad, the time... Time to end the episode will be soon, and I will end it off very soon. But there is no soon. We have to go and we have to collect these coins. Go into the shop, shall we? Yeah, we'll have some new items, fortunately enough. Which we can buy. Let's buy some clothes. Okay, patch slacks and wild trousers. Yeah, frankly, with all the defense we're getting. Yeah, look how much defense we're getting from these pants. Frankly, we may be getting a few... Frankly, we may not be getting the best thing in terms of attack, but in terms of just defense, yes. Buy and put on. Yes, I want to change. Put the slacks on. Yes, change in. Yes. Look how much defense we now have. Very good. Now we get the Shroom Badge, slightly increases points recovered by using Mushrooms in battle, essentially a poor man's mush power. The XP Badge increases experience when you defeat enemies with attack items, very nice. Coin Badge increases the coins when you use items, not exactly the best options we have. Anyways, let's head in. Okay. Okay. Unarmed Jeans, no, we're not buying that. We'll sell these. We'll also buy... We'll also sell the silky pants. The patch slacks, we'll definitely sell these. And the wafer slacks. Because we're not going to be wearing them. Now, let's go and check out the items. Because we got some new items. Yes, we can buy items. We can get the Smash Egg. Basically, the Smash Egg can give you an item if you use it properly and get perfect. And it can also stun enemies. Ice Flower, essentially, greatly damages enemies that are weak to ice and also makes it where you can get random stat downs. You know what? Frankly, I'm going to buy five Cannonballers just to make sure that we're all good there. We're Personally, we're good on Green Shells and Bro Flowers. You know what? I may buy just another five... Yeah, we're good on mushrooms. Very good on mushrooms. We'll talk to Egad, and then basically we'll end the episode off. Okay. About time you brought a show. Brad, some for sticky obstacles, did you? I am in deep. I am deep in a same cycle, Professor. We nearly had a pair of fragments, but that young Bowser fellow made off with them both. <laughs> no, no, I'm not need to get your love allowed. There's been new titles popping up here faster than toast on Sunday morning. And I'll tell you, one of them is getting off tremendous cobalt star energy wings. I have no doubt that the time all you want. Yep, that's where Baby Bowser made his escape. Mario Luigi, we must chase. We must have redemptitude. <laughs> Look now, before you rush off, I think you'd be wise to survey the rest of the castle. And another thing, there's a noisy uh, from the past ring around with the baby. He and Dodge with in the garden. Can you make sure there's no hoopla out there? Don't want the fans coming on. I kind of for a third strike, and I've got plenty of things that they'd want to criticize me for. They just don't understand my vision, man. Okay, anyways, I think now would be a good time to end things off. I really appreciate they so going to watch this episode. You're a great viewer. I hope you're going to the next one. Like the video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever they want. And I'll see you next time. Bye.